Kabuk servant here, the Kiachaka Kijong Pimataka Kinti, one Jaka Frank Yamaha, but Yoruki cash back had also Jar Tinka, but the Jinga Eruki helmet, Hapat here, the Yamaha scooter. Pin Yoruka discount, Bahadu in Yoga Jar Tinka, Hapat here, the Kibak FC, but FCS, but Druka down payment, Kabakala Jar Tinka, phone getting a number, Harum. The 11th Convocation of the National Institute of Technology make Halaya can long haka kat kanda tarik umra risau jar pusau ha state convention center shalong haka ba usu vamoy saha managing director jonga ever ready industries india limited unlog mukong san u professor avinash kumar agarwar director ke indian institute of technology jokpur but u major jan rajesh kumar jha avs retired director personal nepco limited kin long kum simbot kong san Haba pin bana ya kani ha kha nyau tarik bana risau jar pusau hashlong press club upina keswar mahanta director and professor of mechanical engineering long ba ha kate ka sngi on sapin go brom ya ki shispa knai pulai ngot ki scholar bat ki samla puli ki bakunthop ya shispa sau phungot ki btek khandai ngot ki mtech ar pulai ngot ki samla puli msc bat ar phue ngot ki phd scholar on I could snam the Gitak Maxiar, but Rupa, Jungichaka Puli, Nagabunta, a jink the bit, Hagajing Puli, but Yakatak Maxiar Jung President, on I show non Puli with the bit them. Show show lap and tebru, Bahau no Pramantau, Snem, on Sapingan Rianoik, NIT make liar, Shakajaka Puli Bapura Junga, Hasora, but on Zdang he glass, Hakashitarik Rumpangajar Pusan. Yaka NIT, Hasora lap in one door, Yakajaka Puli, but the mic of a kunto, Yakajaka Puli, Ki hostel, Kijaka bam, Kijaka sa, Kijaka trekam, Kijaka test, Kajaka botiar, Kajaka bokot, but Kajaka IT, Kablatabet Baha. Kajaka Puli can boat Rinti, a policy, Junga Jala, one book Krupang, Yakajaka Shong, Junga Jala, Trajan. But can be so like a jing hikai, Kababhana Gabantaki realum, Jonka make liar. He will have this particular briefing uh, regarding our convocation. Our convocation is scheduled on 11th, sorry, 19th of October at 11 a.m. I have a state convention hall. Uh, I take the opportunity to invite all of you. Uh, to attend the convocation, raise the occasion. Uh, in this convocation, uh, 193 students will be graduating. Out of that, 21 are PhD students, 9 are MTech, 23 are MSc students, and 140 BTech students will be receiving degrees. Apart from that, we have a custom of giving uh, gold medal, institute gold medal, that is called president gold medal, or best uh, graduate. Then one is Chairman School Medal, which is uh, open this year onwards, which is for best female candidates on a BK program or on a visual program. And apart from that, we give uh, some silver medals for each of the two parts of the departments. So we have five engineering departments, three science departments, and one humanities and management department. So all the graduating students are together with. 193 this time. Uh, perhaps more than 60 percent of the students will come here and attend this particular program. Uh, our institute as it was established during the year 2010, and we are consistently acquiring an IRF rank for the last five years. Last year, our rank was 68 in engineering category. Apart from that, also we have got some other rank like IIRF, where the ranking is 88. And apart from that, our two departments, mechanical and electrical engineering, has been accredited by MBA uh, till June, June 2027. That is a uh, very much essential for overall tuning of the students and overall recognition. So, uh, these two departments are already accredited till 2027, and we are trying to promote other two departments, like civil and computer science, um, for more accreditation. Uh, we have a lacuna because of our four or five years, there was a uh, construction works, was called in the permanent campus in Sora. After my joining last year, we have accelerated this uh, construction work and we have put up the service sectors also like electricity, internet facilities and all. Uh, 
so based on all these things, uh, we are planning to go for permanent campus. That is why this is what we need. So our new session will be starting from February 1. That will be in our permanent campus. Uh, that is the uh, details if required or Dean PD can help. Uh, regarding academic growth, we have 1,097 students on the where 29% is female candidates. And in 2024-25, that is this year, we have uh, increasing by 12% increase in student. That is 332 students enrolled, including BTEC and PG and PhD. We have more than 200 PhD students now. Uh, then uh, 39 international students are also there. Yes. Various exchange programs. Uh, like ICCR, SRI, India, like that. We are compromising the education. So we have followed up the curriculum based on National Education Policy 2020. And now we have implemented it from this year, like minor degrees in specialist field like sports engineering. Then AI and machine learning is on offering from next semester. Apart from that, a uh, micro credit system has been introduced, uh, NCC, MSL, yoga, and mental health. These are all micro credit courses for the students. Then we have implemented a multiple entry and multiple exit also for all the BTEC students. So that if the, some students have got some problem during their study, they can leave the institute on leave and they can resign after some time. There are here, we have made provision of these things. Apart from that, we have given attention to the students' internship program because development of skill is very important for getting job, particularly, and for becoming entrepreneur. So, uh, we have made it compulsory for all the students to undergo industry oriented internships, particularly at the end of six semester till eight semester. That is one year they can go for internship. And during that time, two courses they have to take, that is online courses and the soil portion. So these are the things we have already implemented and for MTEC and PhDs also, we are revising the curriculum. In fact, now our curriculum is dynamic, depending upon the need, year by year it will go on change. Research and innovation, we have more than 5.2 course project we obtained last time from various sponsors. And uh, we have also established one center that is called uh, Startup and Innovation Cell, to which we are promoting, trying to promote incubation of different uh, projects, for the, particularly for students. Then for student welfare, we have comprehensive facilities for student welfare, including mental health, uh, sports complexes and <coughs> medical care. These are all established in our permanent campus already. We prioritize a safe and inclusive environment. And recently, we have also made an inclusive center, which will be taking care of the all type of uh, outside people who can be given training, who can be educated, including blinds. We have already started a center for computer education for blinds. So that is one of the milestones. Regarding placement, more than 80% students are placed and they are in very good companies like uh, actually we have uh, our number of permanent staffs are very limited and most of the other duties are done by outsourcing through outsourcing so in outsourcing we are already employed some of the local people and future also whatever outsourced uh, people will be required will be priority <coughs> particularly grade C and grade D we will be giving opportunity to them that already we discussed with the local Darbar also and local headmans also. Apart from that, regular vacancies, if they, are, they have to compete. Uh, like I think of uh, Amazon, Amazon also. And highest package this time uh, is more than 52 lakhs per month. And median or average is more than 10 lakhs per student. More than 9 students this time were more than 20 lakhs per hour package also. 
So placement is very good. And many of the students are going for higher studies also. This time, for going for higher studies, students have to appear for GATE exam. And more than 38 students may qualify for GATE. Many of our alumni are in foreign universities now. Uh, so that way also, overall progress is very good. We have adopted five villages near Sora under Uttar Bharat Abhijan. That is called Kalatai, Kutmadu, Said Sufan, Pumkhaba, um, and Mosumai. In these five villages, we are doing some activities looking into the needs of the villages. For example, in Kalatai, we have given, because the village is isolated and people cannot cross the river during rainy season. So under CSR activity, we have given them a motorized boat, uh, I think on the 2nd of October. Uh, so that will be make their life easier. Apart from that, we have given solar lanterns and in the nearby schools, we have given all the gadgets so that students can study. We also have planned to give some computers to various schools in that locality. So uh, these are some of the inclusive education we are providing and in Sora we are since our uh, classes are going on there every three days we are holding classes now. Remaining three days uh, these laboratories are actually not functioning. So we are going to give training to the local students, unemployed youths so that they can learn uh, computers. So that process is also on for modern parts.